good is that? Pipe just brings us back in time, so we can get another carrot, that's cool. But, so I want to see what can we can do with the P-Switch. We can make blue stars appear and then not hit the jump button again. Oi. Oh well, not that much of a problem. This level seems a lot easier than the other one I just had to plea. Plea. I had to plea for my life for that level not to kill me. So, Tui, you come here often and change your dress color quite often, too? At least I'm guessing you're Tui, that or you're either one of Tui's minions. I can't remember if it's Tewi or Tui. I know the pronunciation in kanji for her, in Japanese stuff for her name changed a few times. At least I think I, I think it did. I don't know, I hardly ever paid attention to the Toho Wiki. What is your purpose in life? Oh, it's a maze. I get it. It's like in the original Mario Brothers. Now, is the game going to beep at us again? Doesn't look like it's... Um... I was gonna say, it doesn't look like it's returning our calls, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it looks like we're back at the start. Without a carrot, so... I'm going to... Resupply myself with certain produce. And then come back to the maze! Ugh. Okay. Now we know what the P-Switch is for, and now we know what the carrot's for. But Tui does not know what the carrot is for. Because she just keeps dying by our hand. Or should I say our tail? Although Marissa sprites don't have a tail. Oh. Since when was it ever the other way around? Is there supposed to be another P-Switch somewhere? Whoops. I don't think the screen scrolls like it does in Mario when you die in this game. I can't remember. Could Considering I did the entire LP of this game from start to finish, you think I'd remember certain mechanics like death, I mean, honestly. Considering how many times I've died in this game, you think I'd be a master at it, but no. I'm not. Alright, bamboo shoot people. We gotta try not to get hurt too badly anyway. Not really that big of a deal. There's a character here. And there's a pipe where we can go get more carrots if we really need them, but I'm not any fan of carroting, so... Alright, we're just gonna reset the maze. I don't know if it takes me back to the same spot or not, so... What I do know is that I'm going to grab the P-Switch and I'm going to go the way that it wants us to. Which involves not seeing Tui and involves... Well, we could not see her and then kill her, but... That's not really that important, but... Oh, let's ask. How do we get up here? What? How's that wrong? Oh... And there's a secret passage here with another P-Switch and there's another P-Switch over there. I don't know if it lets us continue from where we're going if we know the right way suddenly. So we're going to restart. Hmm. I actually quite like this uh, gimmick. As annoying as it may seem to some people. I actually quite like it. I've always been a fan of this gimmick. Especially in the original Mario Brothers where the level would loop endlessly had you not known the correct pathway to take. Now I'm just going to press the P-switch here. And hopefully we'll not press the jump button because that's stupid. Who presses the jump button to get places, honestly? Ugh. Well, it's not really that frustrating. I better not die this time. Because if I do, then I'm kind of screwed. Oh well, it wouldn't be the first time. Uh, that would require having to redo the stage I just did. You know what, Tui? I'm just going to not die this time. Hopefully not. Punch, though. Look at me not getting all the stars. Well, we know what to do from this path, at least, so... Tui is not going to extract her revenge. Yet. Now, we got that star there. We got this star here. How is that wrong? You can't tell me to go some way and then say it's wrong. Ugh. I'm going to call my lawyer and my agent and everything else that I don't have right now. I like this concept when it works. Maybe I should have said that. Ugh. Watch this be some anti-piracy method or something. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. Whoops! That worked well. That worked so well, in fact, that... Okay, we're gonna follow the bouncing trail. I didn't hear a beep that time, so... I'm assuming that it was correct, but then I decided to be stupid. God, I don't understand it. Ugh. Okay, let's conquer this insidious jump. Of course, I can't quite remember where the path goes from here, so... Uh, 
don't hurt me, Tui. 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 Thank you for not hurting me, Tui. Okay, we just need to go up here and... Is that it? Did we win? Yay, we got to a new place. Whoa, you can kill them? A whole new world just opened up to me. A world of murder and rabbits. Wait, I have ears. Does that mean I'm murdering my own kind? I'm a horrible person. Oh well, you will never see me again. Also, on a random note, that music reminds me of the music that starts playing in the Emperor's New Groove when they are running away from... Ismon Kronk, I think it is? <clears throat> Anyways, let's go to World 3. I'm hopefully going to finish this up in one sitting. Um, this reminds me of Grease Syndrome, kind of. I wonder why. Um, no reason. Anyway, let's see what the third extra is. It is extremely extra. It is so extra, in fact, that there are candles in the background, and this is probably more remixed music. Where do you get those portable ice things? Because that would be useful to have sometime, possibly. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a fire flower. Although it's really tea. Hey, this reminds me, I don't have a lot to say, but I will say this. In the next game that I am LPing, that is a Toho-related game, I am actually playing as Reimu. So Ray Marissa will no longer be just a power-up. Of course, I don't want to be destroyed by the flower pot maidens. Yeah, I don't really understand your methods of attack. I mean, being clumsy is nothing to be proud of. Unless, of course, you get paid for it, which I suppose you guys do. Now, are we supposed to go down here? Because there's no down arrow. So I'm kind of confused and afraid. We get a frog suit. Random, but let's, let's see. Okay, this is a water area. We got scuba fairy, scuba fairy Rip Van Fish. It would appear. Well, Rip Van Fish. I'm sorry to have what woken you up because usually Rip Van Fish only follows you if you wake him up. I don't like how you are not affected by the. Um, Foey fish. Because if you were affected by them, then I would have lost you quite some time ago. Yeah, you know what? This is very hard to do with a carrot. Well, at least I say. Otherwise, I would not have found that fire flower. Ladies, please, there's enough flower pots for everybody. Or at least, there appears to be. That was close. Yeah, running into the wall is not exactly the best plan of retreat. But I suppose if it works for you, then it'll work for everybody else who's holding a flower pot. Yeah, you guys just keep doing that. I'm gonna go this way. Oh my. Uh, are we in the Scarlet Devil Mansion right now? It's hard to tell. Oh well, we're going. 
going this way. Marissa just stuck a little sharp piece of paper in her eyes. Hmm, that wasn't so hard as I made it out to be. Although, considering the random difficulty of these levels, I'm kind of afraid of the later areas. 